Well, the Republican National Committee wraps up its three-day summer session meeting in Boston today, and party leaders are hashing out uh, what they're going to do in terms of refocusing their message and their outreach efforts and say that they're moving in a more forward-thinking direction for 2016. Here's some of that. The reality is that we're not trying to do what would have won in 2012. We're trying to do what will win in 2016. And the Democrats, they're also out there with their data scientists figuring out what to target next. You know, And this time it might not be African-American women over 45. It might be a different thing. Very interesting. Molly Lyon is uh, live in Boston. So, Molly, there is a big vote that's being taken today. Tell us about that. Absolutely. This is something worth watching because because it could have a really big impact on the debates in the very near future in the run-up to 2016. The RNC today weighing in in this big vote as to whether or not they will ban CNN and NBC, essentially refuse to partner with them in the upcoming debates in the run-up to 2016. Uh, and in the, the primary debates, uh, they would nor would they sanction any of the primary debates all because of these planned documentaries about Hillary Clinton. According to RNC Communications Director Sean Spicer, they simply don't want news organizations tipping the scales in the upcoming election. Take a listen. It's about time that the Republican Party started taking control of the debate process. We need to, under to create a system that puts the party, the best interest of our candidates, at stake. And that vote is expected to take uh, place this morning. Martha? Well, uh, Republicans had a lot to think over after the last election, and they've tried to cover a lot of ground in the past few days, have they? Absolutely. You know, that's essentially what this is. It's a big business meeting. Uh, the representatives, the, the uh, committee men and women from all over the country are coming here to cover all these details. And they're trying to really reach out, expand their ground game, particularly among young people all across the country and also in minority communities all across the country. Part of that is about technology, bettering their communications online, everything from Facebook to, ever, to other technological uh, outreach. So they've really covered a lot of ground here, and they're hoping that the representatives from all over the country take this information home. Uh, to their parties in their local states and implement it. And we will see if that causes a turnaround, the turnaround that they're hoping for uh, within Republican parties all across the nation. Martha? Well, it's all about the ground game in politics these days, uh, and technology certainly plays a huge role in that. Molly, thank you. Very interesting. Coming